Connor, what were you just doing? How's your arm feeling right grabbing now? Grabbing my balls. <laughs> are you grabbing your balls? My balls are big. Oh, you're quoting yeah. drunk history over here? My balls are huge. <laughs> I have to pee. You have to pee? So I have to grab my balls. You have to grab your balls because you yeah, have to pee? Yeah. It's an indication. It's the indication? Is that your, your smoke signal? It's a, it's a universal smoke signal. Okay. I'm not gonna let the internet get near your balls, so I'm gonna put them down. My balls are big. Is that from drunk, drunk history? That's right, that's what that's from. My balls are big. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Stop doing that. Fidgety. You're fidgety. Gotta get you some more drugs. You want more drugs? I think less drugs is good better. Less is drug. Less drugs is good better. <laughs> is good better. Yeah. <laughs> So we're all sitting in the hotel right now. Um, I had to come back to edit the video really quickly and Shay is putting eyes on and helping me out. Yeah. So <laughs> apparently each one of us has received a separate text message from Charles <laughs> and all of them are equally incomprehensible. So let's just go around the table. So this is yours, right? You, you want to go ahead and read you it? You read it. I don't read You don't that read kind that text. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, this is what Charles sent to his mom. F Fet I Everton. That's one message, and then the next message says Rivetton. And she wrote, love you, see you soon. <laughs> That's number one. What's yours say? Mine just says, there I every LOL. <laughs> <laughs> what time was yours at? Um, I don't know. Mine was at 2.50. Did you get one? I got, I got one of these. Okay, this says... Oh, you got a... Hold on. Excellent. Oh, your screen hurts my heart. Thumbs up. Yeah, hurts my heart too. <laughs> Give me your best Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds it. Pose. Yeah? More chest hair. More chest hair. Let me do this I'll, no, I'll I just grab some pumps. I'll, I'll Photoshop my dad's chest hair right here. <laughs> show it off, Dad. Show it off. Huh? No. I'm he not doesn't even it. need to. It's already It's right out. there. <laughs> there it is. That or Photoshop Coley's chest hair onto my chest it's hair. Very manly. <laughs> That's sexy, babe. Are you smelling your Yankee candle? It's a pinky hair. Lid. I ate the pinky wiener. The what? I'm just, I call it a pinky wiener. Pinky wiener? Yeah? Delicious. It's not the size of the pinky wiener, it's the taste of the pinky wiener. <laughs> Indeed. Don't tell him the butter's on the other side. He will turn it. It's Sicilian breading. <laughs> Sicilian breading? I go, I go, yeah. Thank okay, you for not putting the butter on there. Bread you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Fabulous. When I lift up my left hand, I'm like a magician now. I have a ball. <laughs> wow, where'd that come from? It's magic. <laughs> I've never seen the kayak commercial where the guy goes like, like that. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't have the ball knife. My surgeon totally loves that commercial and he wanted to do it so bad. I showed it to him and he goes, We should have done it. He's so funny about it. If you didn't see yesterday's video. What was that? <laughs> you guys are very critique. You guys should critique a lot of. You do a lot of critiquing right now. Hey! Look at the ball. You got a ball. Look at that. Right. Is, is she okay? She's in a wheelchair. Oh, that's Marlene. She's just sitting. <laughs> Very nice. And you got your Here sweater and everything. Doing a great job. Got my phone plugged in. That's right. Oh, yeah. She's ready. All the tools in the tray. You got the ideal setup here. Jazz and Melissa doesn't have a clue where I'm at. <laughs> Charles is jamming out to some tunes. How do you feel, babe? Ooh, rock sign. Okay. Look how cool this is. They brought me a gigantic reclining chair, which is so awesome. And I'm gonna sleep so well, because I'm staying here. He's doing so well. All right, guys, I'm totally in the hospital bathroom right now. <laughs> Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on Charles. He's uh, in his room resting, and he actually has a guy in the room with him, so I don't wanna wake him up by speaking too loudly. He's doing really well. Um, I know you guys know that already. I've been tweeting a couple of things, but um, 
as you saw in yesterday's video, the surgery was very intense. Um, it's really hard on your body to do like an awake brain surgery. It's really hard on your body to do any surgery, but that in particular was pretty crazy and uh, his team was just incredible uh, and his doctors back in Florida are checking on him. Everybody's just been absolute superstars that are taking care of him and we are so, so appreciative of all of it. Honestly, it's been truly a, a, a wonderful thing. You know, if you never want to have to go through something like this, but if you do, you want to make sure that the person that's going through it is comfortable and, and everything has just been so, so great for him. So uh, yeah, I know a couple of you guys were actually asking what the situation was with his left arm. Um, we talked about it a, a little bit a couple times, but we didn't want to frighten any of you guys. Um, so where the uh, tumor was in his brain was near his, um, like basically his uh, supplementary motor area and they didn't want to do any like uh, damage. That's why he was awake, so they could talk to him and ask him to move his hand and, and uh, all that good stuff. After the surgery, he was totally fine, but then, you know, as the day kind of progressed and as the swelling sort of manifested uh, in that part of his brain, he started having a little bit more difficulty um, with his hand and he was getting a little frustrated. You know, it's like one of those things where you're telling your body to do something and, it's, and, and you know exactly what it's supposed to feel like and it's kind of just not happening. So he was getting really frustrated and a little bit afraid, but he was working with a physical therapist today for a little while. And I just got back to the hospital a little bit ago. Um, and uh, it seems really silly to be able to do this with your arm, but he wasn't able to hold his arm over his head and he just did it just now for the first time. <laughs> It's just really great to see him making progress. And he's really moved by everything that you guys have done and said for him. It truly means a lot to us to have you guys here supporting us. It's We're very, very lucky. Very lucky. This is good. I know this doesn't seem good, but it's very good. I'm very, very happy that this is all going well, you know. It's a very scary thing, but he's, uh, he's awesome. He's doing it. He's doing great. So I just wanted to let you guys know a little bit of an update on that, uh, what's going on with that arm. So he's, we're expecting him to make a full recovery and to be, you know, slapping the bass pretty soon. Check out these hot pants. You got some Urkel pants on? Did I do that? Did <laughs> You're too ridiculous. Did I do that? Love those pants, baby. That's hot. You're just in time for Milan Fashion Week. I don't want everyone to freak out about this whole left thing. I just talked about it. No one's freaking out. You're doing really, really well with that, actually. Look at Stop. you. In the name of love. In the name of love. <laughs> Grooving. You need to rest, honey. You want to say good night to the internet? Good night, internet. Tell him you love him. I love all of you. Give him a kiss. Nice one. That was even fancier than last night. Now it's time to sit down and view the coolest couple that is on YouTube. Can't wait to see what you did today. It's coming up, I can hardly wait the Charles Trippy and Ali, cause you and me, we're CTFXC. Gonna share the interwebs with Charles Trippy and Ali. Don't forget Zoe and